So we're now on our way to the cheap Chinese knockoff RC stores. Uh, I have no idea what to expect. I've never been to these shops. I just asked my local friend, hey man, this is the title of my video, cheap Chinese RC knockoff store. Where are they? And he reckoned the place that we're going now is where the shops are. So if they're bad, don't blame me, blame him. His name's Steven from the RC Expex Hong Kong. And now we need to go find Toy Street. It's actually called Toy Street. How cool is that? There it is there, man. Shop number one. It also says that it's temporary closed. I'm sure we are going to be reaching the Toy Street any second now. You can see there's already some of the markets. Let's hope there's some cool cheap Chinese RC cars. We've entered our first toy store. See if we can find some RC cars. Oh, what do we have here? Here's our first RC car. Check it out. This is like a mini Z right here. <laughs> RC buses. Oh, yeah. Some mini buses. More RC cars. Yes, the radio control. What's this? A little short course truck. It's less than 10 US dollars. Oh, we've got a Jeep. Just reviewed one of these. Nice. Looks like we've got some more high end stuff up here. Look at this. The Nitro RC car. We've got ourselves a Chinese knockoff Nitro RC car. I mean, we were not expecting that. 15 kilometers an hour, 30 meter range. This thing's insane. Like 20 bucks. I, I gotta buy this. I got it. Hey, sweet. Here we go. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Okay, bye bye. Oh yes, just got our first nitro. Oh yes, boy. Yeah, boy. You reckon that's the real paints? So we've got a bunch of transformers here, man. Just kidding. I know the gang dams, gun dams. Yeah. Man, why did I buy this thing so early? Now I got to carry it everywhere, and we've already just started the video. Yeah, where are the RC cars? <laughs> Man, I'm pretty sure this is where COVID started, man. Yeah. This smells. Where the RC cars at? I think today might be the day, man. Oh no. Oh, RC cars here. Oh, RC cars here. Where the RC cars at, man? Got a lot of masks. Clothes. Some goggles. Oh yeah. Where are the toys at? Some more toy stores here. Oh yeah. RC plane. Sweet as train track. RC cars. More RC cars. Top grade, oh yeah. Dragon Ball Z, oh yeah. Last nice week, got some nice looking tanks. How many radio control cars here though? New F watch for you, Amber. Okay, so not the most success here with RCs, but there's a lot of like toys and umbrellas and a lot of masks. Uh, but we did get our first Nitro, and that's, that's something to be proud of right there. Now we're gonna go to an RC shop that I think you're gonna like a lot more, a lot more cool stuff. And I'm excited, I've never been to the shop before, but I know for a fact it's gonna be a lot better than what we just saw. I don't know how badly you want to see this nitro car in action, so we will check it out later in the video. So this next hobby store that we're going to is not a cheap Chinese knockoff RC store. This one's a proper hobby store in Hong Kong. I've never been to it, but from what I've seen online, it looks really cool. They stock some Horizon hobby stuff, some Team Corelli stuff. So really excited to check this one out. The last store, the one we'll see after this one, that is truly a cheap Chinese knockoff store. But first, we'll check this one out. Here we are, man. This is the building. Fabrico. I can't wait to show them my nitro. Hey, what's up bro? Yeah. How you doing man? Yeah. Say hello to YouTube. Hello, hello. <laughs> what's the name of your store? Uh, Mega Hobby. Mega Hobby. Yeah. I just went shopping, look at this. Oh, what's this? It's a nitro car bro. Oh. What do you reckon man? Take a oh, look. Oh, that's awesome. Nitro? Yeah, nitro. Really? Nitro, this one? Yeah man. I bought it at uh, Asima. Oh, oh, Asima has this kind of... Wow, really? Yeah man. Oh. What kind of fuel does it take, you reckon? Yes. I... I, I never played Nitro car. <laughs> I'm kidding you, man. It's just a toy. This cannot buy an engine. Man, your store's awesome. I really want that Tamiya truck right there. That blue one. Oh, yeah, yeah. the Grave Digger. I just changed a little bit of option. Man, that looks sick. I love yeah. it. What's your favorite thing in the store? The armor? Yeah. Which one in particular? Any armor in particular you love? Creighton. 
for sure. The which one? The, the EXP? EXP for sure. It's one of my favourites too. Mm. We've got some Team Corelli back at home that Amber's been playing with. Mm. Was this 2021 or 2022? Uh, 2022. Oh, okay, yeah, I can see. Morocco. Morocco. <laughs> what else have we got? The shotgun. The shotgun. 2022 model as well. Yeah, all Team Corelli is 2022. What do you prefer out of Team Corelli and Armour? I think the price. <laughs> the price is good. Yeah. Better value. More yeah. value than the armor. But the armor. armor can get more option pass. Oh yeah. yeah. And you got a little bit of Tamiya. Yeah. There's something I've been looking at, wanting to check out the rift. It's hiding away in there. I haven't tried any Enduro. Is that stuff pretty good? Many people like the body. <laughs> What's this brand? Oh, Cross RC. They are very really famous in some uh, military truck. 110 scale? Yeah, 110 and they four wheel drive crawlers? Yeah. MST. I mean, in Taiwan. Oh, it's got to be good if it's yeah, made in Taiwan. Taiwan brand and... How's that? Pretty good? Look good. Look but good. <laughs> the performance for the S610 is much more better. Ah, I see. FMS. Jimmy, oh, I know yeah. we've got one of those. This oh, is a... Uh, LGT. Desert Fox. Just a FJ. You know the yeah. Americans love these accessories. Oh, yeah. Now, see, if we were in America, yeah. this would be sold out, mate. Oh, look, what's this? Yeah, we've got a broken team no. really. What do you do to it, man? Uh, just drop the screw over here. Ah, oh, simple fix, yeah. mate. Simple fix. And you got the bombers there. So what's this for? This is good for like crawling, like uh, or crawling. like rock bouncing. Both, because they use the gearbox of Yeti. Uh, the rift is rift more. Rift is only do the bouncing. Bomber can do both. And then down here, you've got like uh, an actual yeah, crawler. Gladiator. A gladiator. I got a small version of that. What's this? Team Ruffy body and uh, Team Ruffy chasers open. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, and the door can open too. Nice. Scale crawler. <laughs> Scale crawler, yeah. What was your name? Oh, I'm JC. You're JC? Yeah. Um, I'm Sammy. Nice to meet you, Sammy. And uh, you got a really cool store here. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, it's tight fit, but I mean, you got the online store too. Anything else you want to show me? New low seat. Oh, okay. Drag yeah, yeah. race, yeah. Drag racing one. It's so much bigger than what I thought it was yeah. in real life. It's actually mm -hmm. huge. Yeah. For some reason, I just thought it was a lot smaller. Mm -hmm. When I saw this on TV, I thought it looked, you know, I thought it looked kind of ugly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it wasn't, it wasn't my yeah. cup of tea. But now that I'm seeing it in mm. person, it looks yeah. pretty awesome. Came here not to buy anything. Left with a rift. It's a new day in Hong Kong, and we're on a mission to find another cheap Chinese knockoff RC store. Probably going to be more like a toy grey, like our first store. But let's see what we can find here. There's a few different streets. I think we're going to start with this one over here. Just found some Tamiya products. I see Toy Great, of course. I see helicopter, that's pretty cool. I think the only thing my friend has done by telling me to come here to look for knockoff RC cars is giving me COVID. Oh, we have some more cars. Are they RC? Yes, they are. Oh, we've got some RC tanks. This could be alright for kids, and they are super cheap. 28 Hong Kong, that's like a couple of dollars US, maybe less. More RC stuff. Well, this tank looks pretty cool. Now, I bet that this truck is a lot cheaper than those Tamiya ones. Maybe I'll just settle for one of these. Six wheeler, I'm sure that could compete with the T Rex 6, and it's a lot cheaper too. Check this one out here, this is pretty big. Four wheel drive, got suspension, twin motor, probably I'd say 110 scale. Oh cool, these are cool. Little indoor RC helis. Another battle tank, this thing's huge. Oh you see these online sometimes, the RC crocodile faces, that's pretty funny. More RC cars up there, some toy guns, RC transformer. More tanks, there's heaps of tanks around. Toy great of course, but pretty cool. Some bigger RC cars up here, 112 scale. Some RC hillies. Man, these stores just keep going. They go forever. There's so many of these toy stores. I could be here forever going through all these stores, but it looks like most of them are just sort of toy grade stuff. Uh, you know, stuff that's probably gonna last maybe five seconds in mine or Amber's hands, the way we drive. But you know, for young kids, some of this stuff, it's not too bad, you know. I remember being a kid playing with these kind of toys. They don't last as long as hobby grade. But they can be fun for kids. These things are pretty massive. And most of them are really, really cheap. Like this one here. That's like around 20 US dollars. They're not expensive. That's like, there's like 10 bucks there. And some of them have some pretty cool bodies. Even if they are toy grade. And there's my Tamiya truck right there. Even the logo, similar colors. 
Well, there's another one there. It's like 40 US dollars for these two. And what do you know? We actually have Tamiya here. All models though, I don't think like any of them are RC cars. But still, the Tamiya, it's pretty cool. By the way, I did just make a Inside A official Tamiya store RC video recently, a few weeks ago. So if you haven't yet, be sure to go check out that video. I just saw this and this looked pretty cool. It's pretty big and up to 20 kilometers an hour. This is roughly about 80 US dollars. <laughs> no way, that is so cool. The cyber truck. Well, I think it's time we go home now and try out that cheap Chinese knockoff nitro RC car. Look at this beauty. Oh, look at it, nitro. You need a screwdriver to get this car out. They hand twist. Check it out, man. Check it out. Look at this beauty. It's amazing. Look at that nitro engine right there. You mean it's not nitro? What is that? You ready for this beast? Oh, I've even got one of these things. <laughs> Don't blink. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. It's only three wheel drive! Look at it! <laughs> Look at it! You're reverse? Oh yeah! Look at the delay in this thing, you ready? This delay is worse than those WL toys. Look! <laughs> Look at that delay! Look! <laughs> oh. oh! Listen to it! Listen to it, that's so bad. Oh. I feel like if you hold it any longer than a couple of seats, it's gonna break. Look, listen to that servo. Oh, Ooh, sound like the servo's about to die. Is it even a servo? What is, what is that? There's my nitro. There's my nitro right here. Oh. Oh. Oh, check it out. Oh, no. Oh, Lord. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. I feel like I can do it. Oh. This is what you get. This is what you get when you buy a cheap Chinese Knockoff RC car. Knockoff nitro car in this case. <laughs> Be sure to go check out my other inside RC hobby store videos. I've done one in an official Tamiya store and I've done one in a RC hobby store in China. That was when I went inside RC Mart. I've also done a couple others in the past. I'm gonna leave links to those videos in the description down below. Don't forget to give this video a like and if you didn't like it, give it a like anyway. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified on anything RC. I'm Joe, I'm an RC Kiwi, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.